In Fast and Furious 6, Deckard shot Han's car and it blew up in an explosion. Then he rang Dominic Terrell saying, Dominic Terrell, you don't know me, but you're about to. So, you know, you get all kinds of people, you know, gangsters, wannabes in college school, even in private schools. You know, I've been to private school my whole life and, you know, I've seen the odd thug that, you know, bullies everyone, you know, you know, goes on the run, I think, even, you know, I've heard of someone that is on the run from my private school. So the thing is, I'm saying you get those odd dickheads. So I can only imagine, you know, what, you know, um, schools in the ghetto are like, you know, the amount of people you got to deal with. I'm not saying they're all like that. I don't want, you know, elders, you know, stereotyping that all younger people are like that. But I agree, you know, in the old days, you could go out. But now, because the way a lot of younger people are, they're not all like that. But a lot are, and there are a lot of good younger people. But what I'm saying is, we can't go out at night time safely like you know it used to be in the old days and we need that to change so extreme actions need to be taken so first of all all parents send your kids to mixed martial arts training get them homeschooled this is how we stand up to the government we're saying enough's enough now the third thing is everyone needs to snitch regardless of danger even if people die because they will friend you know to kill family and stuff and you know some people will die maybe i can't promise that but most likely some people will die if they snitch but then eventually they'll get taken down and you know the third thing is parents be ready to find make sure you train no matter how old you are get training you know um train your kids train yourself and stop believing size and gender matters it doesn't don't listen to any expert that says that they don't know what they're talking about bruce lee proved everyone wrong and anyone can achieve that bruce lee ability and even if you don't you can still achieve a high level and win against a bigger person frankie edgar for example has won against people in lightweight division bigger than him and just because he got rocked in one fight or whatever you know some people like he needs to move down a weight class because he's too small instead of acknowledging that you know he did well in the weight class you know just exaggerating being over dramatic so you know the thing you know, the thing i'm saying is you know um size and gender doesn't matter but what i'm trying to say is we need to take extreme action and the third thing is sometimes you are going to deal with wannabes and gangsters you know like that code you know saying you don't know who, who i am but you're gonna have to find out and the thing is you have to be confident like tom always prepared like they are you know relaxed and have fun like they're doing their barbecues him and his team but the thing is be on your guard always when things happen when you deal with these people because more more of this stuff is going to happen you know someone has to take a stand to it and that's why i do these videos because i want to guide people on how to handle things so you know want to be your gangster you know stand up to it snitch on them fight them if they come at you call the police though, of course that's the first thing you do but as i said you know, you leaders and government people need to, you know, close down all schools as far as I'm concerned because I'm sick of all the violence that goes on in schools. Yeah, let teachers do teach people, you know, at their houses because I'm sick of it. I'm sorry to say, but it's come to this now where, you know, schools, college, there's too much violence. Don't, you know, any school or college you go to, there's bullying and, you know, the only way to stop it is by, you know, getting everyone homeschooled until people mature and grow the fuck up. And, you know, this is what I'm going to do regardless of what any leader or government says. I will take extreme actions and extreme precautions until everyone is safe, you know, until all this, you know, injustice, you know, comes comes to an end. And I'm going to, you know, put it to an end. So, you know, I'm not keeping quiet and you tell me to.